Bonnie, hello? Oh, hey, dude! What's going on? You don't sound so good. Did something happen? Oh, so you got a cold from... Okay, well, I, I did tell you that maybe doing the whole Rocky workout thing wasn't going to really do well. Especially since you're not used to, like, running up the mountain cold in the freezing weather. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess, like, footage-wise, it probably looks cool, but... Wait, what do you mean that you think that you're not going to be able to meet up with Circus Baby later? Didn't you have that thing you wanted to ask her? You can't miss that. I guess you'll have to reschedule then. I'm sure she would under- And what's your plan then, dude? It's a, it's not like I- Yeah, I still owe you that favor for that big thing you did for me. No! No! Are you kidding me? Are you trying to- Oh my god, are you serious? Fine! Okay, I'll do this one favor for you. But after that, we are squared, we are finished, we are done with that, okay? All right. And the, it's in my back. Did you plan this already? All right, all right. Bye. Uh. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, did I come at a bad time? I, I can go. <laughs> no, it's not a bad time. Uh, it's a weird time. And I was going to have to call you to tell you about this before you heard about it any other way anyway. Oh, okay. That's kind of concerning. What's going on? So... Bonnie has been planning this super big date between him and Circus Baby because he had a question he wanted to ask Circus Baby. Yeah, I think you told me about that the other day. What's that have to do with you? <laughs> well, he's got sick. Oh, okay. Do you remember he was going to try to impress Circus Baby by doing the whole Rocky workout and try to get super buff like that? Not precisely, but sure, I'm trying to follow. Well, it involved him Running up a snowy mountain to the very peak, what? he got sick from that. Bruh. And he decided that he can't afford to miss this opportunity with Circus Baby. Because apparently those reservations he made can't be refunded. Oh, oh, okay, but I'm still not following. What does this have to do with you? <laughs> he has this whole costume of himself that he wants me to wear. Wait, wait, wait. You're not saying what I think you are. <laughs> He wants me to pretend to be him so that he can still go on the date with Circus Baby and still ask her the question, even though he's not going to be there. Um, you know, as your current girlfriend, I'm, I'm wondering if I should be okay with this. But honestly, I'm strangely curious how, how it'll play out. Most likely, this is going to blow up in someone's face. Probably, but, I mean, at the same time, you're doing Bonnie a favor. You're doing it, so if it goes badly, you're not the one to blame. No, and I do owe him this favor. Wait, so where is this costume? <sighs> do I have to go put it on? You want to see it, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely, I do. <sighs> he said he put it in, t in the back rooms. All right. Uh I guess, uh, go change and, uh, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> All right, let's see. It, it's very tight on me, but... <laughs> you can't be serious, sweetheart. <laughs> this is what he thinks is going to fool Circus Baby. There's no way that Circus Baby is going to believe that you're Bonnie. <laughs> no, I don't think she will. She's too smart for that. She has built interdimensional travel. You think she's gonna fall for something like this? She's done what? I'll explain that to you later. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, kudos to you for being a good best friend, and, um, good luck, I guess. I'll be waiting at home to hear how this all plays out. <laughs> if this doesn't work out well, I may need to stay over your house tonight. Sounds good. I'll see you if I see you. Bonnie, you owe me for this. Man, either Bonnie's smaller than me? Or this thing is tight. Uh, hopefully I don't have to wear this too long. So because baby will see right through it. She will just laugh it off and I can just go home. Uh, oh. Buddy, hey. <laughs> oh man, I've been looking forward to today. <laughs> Uh, What's hi. wrong? You look oh. like you saw a ghost. <clears throat> I mean, hi, Circus Baby. Yeah, that, that, that's me. Everything okay? Uh, everything is 
Everything's all good. Uh, I'm just here waiting for you, you know, for our special, special date. Oh, aren't you sweet? Well, I've been looking forward to this date all day long. So should we go ahead and get it started? Oh, you even got out my favorite ice creams. How nice. Aren't those displays? Oh, they're... Th th oh, oh. Well, I wasn't um, in the mood for ice cream anyway. Uh, wh wh what do you want to do? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, we'll play a game of Bonnie Bowl. Great. Uh, I mean, if we can, it looks like the bowling balls and stuff are already put away, and I don't want to scuff up your bowling alley for tomorrow. Right. Yeah, because Bonnie totally didn't plan this out. I mean, we can turn them on if you want, but... Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's play a game. All right. Um... Join game. There we go. <gasps> I want the bumpers. Um, let me see. Which one do I want? Oh, and, and don't forget. <laughs> um, you mentioned you had, like, some really important question to ask me or something, so... Yeah, I guess I'll use Freddy's oh, ball. Oh, oh, okay. Hopefully you're better at it than me. Oh. Uh, Bonnie, that's the wrong... Lane. Uh, that was on purpose. That was a, it was a test throw. <laughs> You're a professional bowler. <laughs> you shouldn't be this bad. Oh, are you nervous about that question you wanted to ask me? Totally. <laughs> you know, how about we just do something else? Um, like, uh, talk. Uh, yeah, uh... How is that one, um, that boil on your back? How How's it looking? I have a boil on my back? I mean, I... I it's perfectly healed by now, you know, it's... I mean, really? Because no that thing was gushy yesterday. I didn't think it was gonna get any Whoa. better or worse after that. <laughs> I mean, yeah! Um, everything okay? You're, you're acting kind of funny. Is everything okay? Everything is hunky-dory. Hunky-dory? When have you ever said hunky-dory, Bonnie? I, I meant to say everything's a-okay. All right. Um, so what did you uh, want to ask me? What's this big uh, question that you needed to take me out on this date for? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me, let, let me just, uh... Okay, Bonnie, where did you put it? Where the heck did you put it? How is she believing this? How is she believing this? I mean, I... I can't believe that she's believing this. I feel awkward. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, really? That's what you want to ask her? I mean, I feel like that's an easy thing to ask her. What I, Not getting any uh, younger over here. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. So hey. I wanted to ask you, since we've been dating a you're while. You're not breaking up with me, are you? Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, but like, I, actually, like, you're not breaking up with me, are you? No, no, no. I would never break up with you. Well, I mean... Never say never, you know, if I go insane or go evil or something. You know, there's cases where you should probably break up with me if necessary. But, uh, okay, I'm glad I'm glad that that's not the case. Um, Then what? what's so important that you wanted to talk to me about? This Christmas, we haven't really spent uh, time together, like full on time. Every time we spend time together, it's either my dad, brain trap, always walk into the downstairs to interrupt us. And then uh, if we're ever at your house, it's either Glamrock, Freddy, or Enerdead interrupt us. I mean, I guess that's a good point. But, I mean, if you're worried about that, currently Freddy said he was busy tonight doing something, probably with Roxanne, and Enerd's not home either, so you and I could head back to my house, just us. All alone. What do you say? Maybe that's not such a good idea right now. <laughs> it sounds like such a good idea. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Um, uh, but what, what what was your question? So, uh, I want to go on a road trip with you and actually spend some alone time with you. Ooh, a road trip to where? Uh, let's see, where did it say? Niagara Falls? Niagara Falls? I've always wanted to go to Niagara Falls. Because apparently it's one of the most romantic spots you can take someone. <laughs> How romantic. But I'll show you some romance later. And by later, I mean right now. Once we get to my house. Come on, buddy! <laughs> Yay. Oh. Hurry up! Come on! I can't wait to cuddle and kiss and everything else. Uh, can you excuse me for one moment? Sure. I'll be in the car. <laughs> Oh! What do I do? I don't want to do all that with circus, baby. I really don't. What am I going to do? If I tell her now, she's going to get mad. She's going to get mad not only at me, but to Bonnie as well. And then, oh, I don't know what to do. I got to find some kind of excuse to get out of this. I, okay, 
I'll pretend I'll be sick. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are, Bonnie, at home at last. Just you and me, just like you wanted. We can spend all the alone time together. You know, you and me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at you! Uh, oh, you know, I've been feeling a little sniffly the last couple days. Oh, um. At you! Oh, oh, geez. Well, bless you. <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing that I'm not afraid of boogers or germs, right? <laughs> Come here. Give me a kiss. Uh, at you! Oh, oh. Be, be careful where you're aiming those sneezes, you know? I I'm not scared of germs, but at the same time, you know, it's not really polite to just sneeze on somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's. you're right. It's very un- Achoo! Oh, uh, gosh. <laughs> Whoa. You know what? Uh, I'm probably a little too sick to be over right now. No, I that's just not go necessary. You could just you could just stay here. Come on. Let me just go ahead and lock the door so no burglars or anything get in. Come on, why don't you and I cuddle? Uh, yeah, why don't we go cuddle? Uh, oh, you want to cuddle in the bedroom, do you? What, what uh, oops, I just spilled all of your water you keep near your bed all over the bed. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. We are not going to need blankets for what we're doing. Oh, my God. I mean, uh, uh, I was just thinking that you could, you know, massage my back like you did that one time. What? Why are you opening the door? Uh, because why don't we put on a, a fireworks show? Look, we. I mean, yeah, but we can always put on a fireworks show, Bonnie. We can't always have the house to ourselves, you know. So now's like the perfect time to do like romantic stuff. Like, ooh, we could make chocolate covered strawberries and feed them to each other all romantically. Um, we could watch a romantic movie and cuddle on the couch and then get distracted by how much we love each other, looking into each other's eyes and gazing at each other instead of actually watching the movie. Doesn't that sound like fun? Sure, uh, why don't you go set up the movie for that then? Um. Okay, if you insist, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Nothing is working! How does nothing work? I mean, how is she this dense? She's in created interdimensional travel, but she can't see with, through a simple disguise onesie thing? Oh my god. Have I overestimated Circus Baby this whole time? All right, sweetheart. I turned on the notebook. Are you ready to watch it? The notebook? Are you kidding me? Not even Roxanne watches that. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh... And then after that, we can watch all of the Twilight movies. It'll be fantastic. You know those are my Twilight. favorite. Not the Twilight movies. But first, why don't you give me a big old kiss? I haven't had a kiss from you in so long. I can't do this! Okay, it's me! It's me, Glamrock Freddy! I'm wearing a Glamrock Bonnie disguise because Bonnie got sick. He didn't want to miss the date and ask you to do that trip thing with you. So he asked for a favor and got me to wear this and pretend to be him. I thought you would see right through it right away. Yeah. But apparently you did- What? No sh- I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you really think I would have bought that costume? And your your body impression? Bruh. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? I suffered so much right now. Well, you suffered? As soon as I saw you roll up in that costume, I figured that Bonnie hired you to break up with me or something for him. But then you said that that wasn't the case, so I'm still trying to figure out why. He got sick. He tried to show off to you doing this whole Rocky montage, showing you that he was getting in better shape for you and all that. And he got sick doing the whole mountain climb sequence. I see. And he couldn't just reschedule? That's what I told him! But no, he had to pull in that one favor that I owe him. Wow, that was fun. <sighs> I was just curious on how far you would, you know, go and how far you would take this. No, I was not going to cuddle, kiss you, or anything. Like I thought you would. But, you know, you took a while before you finally fessed up to it. To be fair, I thought you were actually falling for it. No, I'm just a good actress. You're a woman that created interdimensional travel. You've created an animatronic. You've even created hundreds of different potions that I'm not even sure you know the, all the effects of, actually. Yep, and yet you're the one in the rabbit onesie. <laughs> I'm gonna go, take this off, you're gonna call Bonnie and tell him, mm -hmm. tell him that you said yes to the thing. For the next few days, I'm gonna be at Roxanne's, and I'm just gonna cuddle with her and kiss her, because I need some comfort right now. Okay. 
And we're not gonna watch The Notebook. You enjoyed that way too much, didn't you? I sure did. You know I'm gonna have to have some kind of payback up for this, right? Blame Bonnie, not me. Oh no, it'll be on both of you. Just watch. Bye, Freddy. Bye. Sorry, right, Bonnie. Bonnie? <laughs> yeah, it worked! <laughs> Spending a couple of days at Roxanne's! Oh, you're a genius. No, I love you. No, I love you! <laughs> See you soon.